Hey guys, coming back at you with another video. This one's going to be going over my 2001 Camaro SS. I'm just going to give you some of the build details and then I'll add in some cool clips of burnouts and in-car video and stuff like that. So check it out. So I'm going to give you guys a brief rundown on the setup. So the engine is a stock bottom end LS3. It has stock heads that have been milled 20 thousandths. It's got a BTR stage four cam, comp rockers, Manton push rods, Johnson 2116 lifters, stock LS3 intake, stock LS3 fuel rail. It actually has stock LS9 injectors, LSA slash nine valve covers and coils, which eliminate the ugly coil bracket. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner. Texas Speed and Performance Engine 7 8 headers, off road Y pipe, Muflex 4 inch, catback, SLP air lid. It's got an 85 millimeter Tahoe mass airflow sensor, Nick Williams 90 millimeter throttle body. What else? The It has a C5R timing chain, LS2 timing chain damper, LS3 water pump off of a C6 vet. So you can see the pulley's a little smaller than the factory F body water pump, which Gives you a little more clearance in between there. If you're familiar with these cars, you know it's uh, it's pretty tight. ATI 10% balancer. I did an ABS delete and a line lock and proportioning valve, which makes the car much nicer to work on, especially when doing plugs. Stock AC system, which blows ice cold, which is nice. Uh, what else did I do? I did the Emblem Pros stainless steel emblems. They just add a little bit of detail to the car, make it a little nicer. I recently put a roof on with the help of my friend. Well, he, me and my friend set the roof on, but I removed it from a 96 Camaro that the early 93 to 97 cars aren't plagued with the bubbling issue. And everybody says that it's an adhesive issue, but I don't believe that to be true. In my opinion, I think it's the cap, the actual roof cap that's the problem. Because when comparing the cap that came off of this car to the older one that was off the 96, this cap is much more dense. Like the fiberglass is just a much better quality than the fiberglass that was originally on the car. I think that's pretty much it. Another thing I wanted to show you is I wired the factory traction control switch. That's now my line lock switch. See the dash is super clean, no cracks.